Venice at Sunset Kia. Shop online anytime at VeniceHonda.com on US 41 South. You're watching ABC 7 News at 6. First tonight, breaking news in the Manatee County kidnapping and sex abuse trial for Dominic Hawkins. Closing arguments have wrapped up in the jury reaching a guilty verdict. Back in 2013, detectives say Hawkins lured a five-year-old girl into an abandoned mobile home, holding her against her will and sexually battering her. Our crews have been in Manatee County all day covering this trial very closely. Let's check in now with ABC 7's Rick Adams, who has more on what the jury decided tonight. Rick? Jacqueline and Scott, good evening. The verdict came down here just minutes ago. Dominic Hawkins was found guilty of kidnapping and guilty of sexual battery. He had been accused of raping a five-year-old girl six years ago in Bradenton. The prosecution is certainly very happy with this decision. Well, obviously, at the state attorney's office, we take the cases as they come to us. Some are more troubling than others. This was a horrific case with horrific facts. And again, we're just happy that the jury returned the verdict that we felt was appropriate. And another thing that did take place here was the sentencing for Hawkins. The 41-year-old Hawkins, uh, 41 -year -old Hawkins will serve life in prison. That was his sentence today, life in prison for Dominic Hawkins. We'll have a lot more on this coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. Reporting live from downtown Bradenton, I'm Rick Adams. Back to you. All right, Rick, thank you so much. The warth, warmth continuing right into a sunny Suncoast weekend, but some showers around the area right now. That's right. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan for more on where those showers are. Well, pretty good downpours, too, are happening uh, currently uh, near Beniva, also Bee Ridge along I-75. Uh, in Sarasota County, we had some rain down south near Venice earlier. All this moving off to the north is associated with the sea breeze front. The sea breeze front, again, uh, coming on in here, but uh, the dry weather has since moved on, and now we're starting to see the rainfall. You can see that near, again, this is Fruitville, uh, near downtown Sarasota. Some pretty heavy downpours there. Not a lot of lightning uh, near Bee Ridge and Beneva. Some moderate to heavy rainfall. It's starting to move out of Gulf Gate Estates. All this near Lake Sarasota as well, uh, pushing off to the north, uh, kind of spreading out too. We'll put the uh, map into motion, show you what's been going on here. Uh, again, these are some of the cities that it's going to have an impact on here fairly soon. The meadows in just a few minutes from now. Light rain though. Uh, you can see it was a little heavier earlier uh, right there near Bee Ridge and then uh, kind of weakening as it pushes off toward the north-northwest and downtown Sarasota getting a pretty good downpour over parts of it. Uh, the uh, future cast is calling for scattered showers uh, through the about 9 o'clock hour, most of the activity near the coast, and then uh, generally partly cloudy overnight. We'll see another nice day tomorrow throughout most of it with partly cloudy skies and warm temperatures. Highs today, 85 degrees. Again, similar conditions expected tomorrow. We'll have more on the rain chances. Uh, they will be increasing as we head into the early part of next week. Coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. Well, tonight, six men are facing charges after an undercover operation in South Sarasota County Parks. The men were all caught exposing themselves to a detective and charged with indecent exposure. They were all caught at either Jelks Preserve or Casperson Beach in Venice. The men range in age from 51 to 77 years old. The investigation began back in March following reports of the indecent behavior. Fortunately, we live in a beautiful community. A lot of people spend a lot of money to come here and visit this community. Uh, so it's, it's a sad day when we have to make arrests for people that are doing inappropriate things in public spaces when there are families nearby and children nearby. The sheriff's office will continue to focus on these types of crimes so that everyone can enjoy these parks. New details tonight on a deadly helicopter crash just north of us in Hillsborough County. Troopers say the private helicopter suffered engine failure with two people on board. The chopper went down on a road and a nearby pickup truck was hit by one of the helicopter's rotors, killing the passenger inside that truck. No other injuries were reported, but the pilot was taken to Tampa General Hospital for dehydration. Several roads in that area had to be closed and will be closed for the next 6 to 12 hours. Well, if you were here for Hurricane Irma, you probably remember the power outages that lasted for weeks after the storm. This week, Florida lawmakers are moving forward to prevent that from happening again, but it would come at a cost to you. The House approving a bill that could lead utility companies to charge customers for their storm protection projects. That would include burying those power lines underground. The Chief of Emergency Operations Center in Sarasota County says there are pros and cons to this idea. Underground you minimizes the amount of um, wind damage. You know, there's no wind damage from underground power lines from a hurricane. But if an area is flooded, 
then you have a problem trying to get to that area to repair it. Florida Power and Light officials say the investments they make to the power grid are reflected in the bills of customers, but they could not say if this automatically means higher rates for their customers or how much. Well, today marks an important day for South Sarasota County as the new Sarasota Memorial Hospital is one step closer to becoming a reality. The new facility in Venice will be built near the intersection of Laurel and Pinebrook Roads. The groundbreaking took place this afternoon and soon that plot of land will be a state-of-the-art facility. Plus, it will be the first time that Sarasota Memorial will be located in South Sarasota County. It will feature 110 private rooms, a 28-bed emergency center, and is being built to meet Category 4 hurricane standards. The hospital will also have its own central energy plant, plus a 400-space parking garage. We've taken our reputation, our, our expertise, our incredible physicians, and been able to relocate part their services down to Sarasota, uh, Venice, and, and uh, the Mid-County and even further South County to where we can serve the whole community. Construction will begin as early as next Monday, and they hope to open the facility in about two years. Still ahead in your Suncoast News this evening, wage wars between the biggest retailers will show you who's promising the highest salaries. Plus a shocking surprise at a Sarasota yard sale, one man's trash just became this man's $30,000 treasure. If your air conditioner is old and inefficient, call Unique Services now. We'll buy back your old AC system for up to $1,750. Plus, get up to 60 months to pay with zero interest and no money down required. And up to a 12-year parts and labor warranty. You need Unique. The Motto Brothers Furniture End of Season Sale has arrived. Now's the time to save up to 60% off designer furnishings and take 20% off all accessories. Plus 12 months of interest-free financing. Save hundreds on famous brands like Hooker, Universal, Natuzzi Editions, and more. Our showrooms are filled with truckloads of bargains so you can create the look you've been dreaming of for your home. This only happens once a year, so hurry in for the best selection. Motto Brothers Furniture, bring your Florida lifestyle home. Every day we wake up and look forward to the future, finding new ways to make it brighter than ever. That's why we're committed to keeping your bills among the lowest in the nation. So how does the typical FPL bill stack up? Well, it's lower than New York, Texas, and California. In fact, it's even lower than 45 states. Our investments in smart technology help keep bills low. See how our bill compares. Go to fpl.com value. I'm John Morgan. All lawyers are not the same. Some have never been to trial, and some need the money more than you do. Not our lawyers. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Need some family fun this summer? Come see your Marauders and enjoy our all-you-can-eat family plan. Five of our best weekend games with all the hot dogs, burgers, chicken sandwiches, fountain drinks, and bottled water at no extra charge. Starting at just $75 for all five games with all-you-can-eat and free gifts. You can even exchange tickets for any game on our schedule. Buy now at BradensonMarauders.com slash all-you-can-eat or call 941-747-3031. Don't miss a minute of Rachel Ray. Weekdays at 3 on ABC7. If your air conditioner is old and inefficient, call Unique Services now. We'll buy back your old AC system for up to $1,750. Plus, get up to 60 months to pay with zero interest and no money down required. And up to a 12-year parts and labor warranty. You need Unique. The ABC7 Stock Report is sponsored by Sunset Cadillac. The Move Up Sales Event is going on now at all three Sunset Cadillac locations. Move up to luxury with exceptional offers. Lease the first ever 2019 XT4 crossover or 2019 XT5 crossover. You choose. Only $3.59 per month with available hands-free liftgate, rear camera mirror, and Amazon in-car delivery. You deserve luxury, safety, and technology. You deserve a Cadillac. Shop Sunset Cadillac's Move Up Sales Event in Bradenton, Sarasota, and in Venice.
Target is raising the minimum hourly wage for its workers for the third time in less than two years. Employees will be paid $13 starting in June. They also promised to raise their wages to $15 by 2020. Retailers are competing to find qualified workers. Amazon recently also paid $15 an hour and Walmart raised its starting salary to $11 last year as well. Manatee County School District is hiring. School officials will be hosting their annual teacher recruitment fair at the end of this month. They're looking for teachers in Parrish, Palmetto, and Mayaka City. Of all grades and subject areas, you have to register ahead of the event. For more information on how to do just that, go to our website, mysuncoast.com, and look for this story. Sarasota County Schools are partnering with Sprint to bridge the homework gap. Through the Internet Service Providers One Million Project Foundation, hundreds of local low-income students will be given free high-speed Internet access. Millions of high school-aged students across the country do not have access to reliable Internet at home. And yet 70% of America's school teachers assign homework to be completed online. In May, Sarasota County Schools will begin the process of selecting students who will receive that free Wi-Fi by August. Well, it's the stuff of Antiques Roadshow fans' dreams. A Sarasota man making the ultimate yard sale find. The lucky guy with a good eye, Erwin Werbowski. He con consigns and volunteers at the Exchange, a nonprofit consignment shop in downtown Sarasota. One day, he unknowingly purchased a rare Geoponte glazed ceramic bowl for one dollar at a yard sale when he bought the bowl at the exchange or brought it in for the exchange for an appraisal they found that the same bowl sold for thirty thousand dollars at christie's back in 2011. there's something on here that must have caught her eye and then she called me uh, two days later said you gotta gotta come in you gotta come in i thought they were gonna fire me from being a volunteer or cut my pay as a volunteer and um she said, no, sit down, and uh, she said the bowl was, had sold for $30,000, at which time my wife fell down. That scared you, huh? <laughs> Exchange says the bowl is part of a collection designed in 1925 by the architect and designer named Gio Ponti. No price set yet on this bowl. The Exchange is in the process of determining the best way, though, to handle its sale. It's going to bring in some bucks. Yeah, yeah, and the exchange has some good finds there. Oh, I yeah. found some cool things there before, Absolutely. too. Uh, many, many times I've found that. Hold it real tight, isn't he? Yeah, just yeah he want doesn't want to let go. <laughs> house and feet. Uh, some uh, garage sales may be getting rained on right now if you're having not many uh, during uh, the mid part of the week. And uh, they will be this weekend, though. They'll have a lot of garage sales around. Most of them should be okay. Uh, we're looking at the Titan radar picture now, uh, depicting some pretty heavy rainfall now near Southgate. We had some rain pretty heavy along I-75 near Lake Sarasota, stretching off toward uh, Tatum near Fruitville. All that kind of heading to the north. So you're going to get some rainfall in the meadows, it looks like. And also downtown Sarasota, brief shower has uh, made its way through at least near the Ringling Bridge. Uh, Southgate still coming down fairly uh, consistent there near the hospital, Sarasota Memorial. And then again near uh, Martin Luther King Way. We're getting some rain near 301 near Washington. Uh, you can see that near North An Orange Avenue as well. All of it moving to the north. Expect a brief period of some moderate to heavy rain. Uh, not a lot of lightning. We've had one lightning strike associated with these cells uh, down south near Rotunda about a half hour ago. Not much now in Bradenton. We did have some rain near Bayshore Gardens. You'll may get another brief shower here in the next um, 10, 15 minutes or so. You can see that rain starting to weaken too down south, although it's been rather consistent uh, near Rotunda and stretching out again toward the Gulf of Mexico. So your future cast looks like this. Expect a few coastal showers here in the next couple of hours. And those will be winding down here fairly soon. We had a nice west wind, southwest wind, and that kind of met up with that east wind and southeast wind. And those two uh, converged right near the coast, bringing those uh, scattered showers. Tomorrow, a different story. I think we'll have a better chance for inland showers scattered about. Not much near the coast. It should be another gorgeous day, though. Lots of sunshine in the morning, a uh, few clouds in the afternoon, and high temperatures will be muggy and warm. Now, the beaches, right around 81, 82 degrees for a high. Inland areas, Lakewood Ranch, Palmetto, Parish, mid-80s, mid right around 85 degrees there. High pressure is getting bumped out of here. 
Uh, this storm system now producing heavy rainfall in the lower Mississippi Valley and some severe weather as well is moving this high down to our south and east. That's giving us that southeasterly component, which is really starting to warm us up and muggy conditions. You're going to notice it big time over the weekend. It's going to start to feel more and more like summer as we get that southeasterly wind. So the future cast is calling for decent weather on Friday. A few inland showers are possible. The rain chance is very small. Saturday looks good as well. Uh, it will be hot, though. Saturday and Sunday, pretty warm. On Monday, now we're going to keep an eye on this. The timing of it is still yet to be determined, but it looks like uh, some showers on Monday. This model not depicting it as much. I think there will be a few more rain showers on Monday evening. And then Tuesday, really starting to pick up. We'll start to see some heavier showers and even a few thunderstorms. I think uh, Tuesday will be a first alert weather day. We'll make that call tomorrow. Uh, but it looks like uh, we will see some a pretty uh, damaging conditions possibility there along the west coast of Florida. Very disruptive weather, but uh, uh, still there's some potential for some stronger cells, I think, on Tuesday. Current conditions right now, 78 degrees. We have the clouds left over from some storms nearby in the airport. Could still get some rainfall there. Winds out of the west, southwest at 5, and the pressure 3016. That's been falling slightly as that high pressure is getting bumped out of here uh, from that storm moving through the lower Mississippi Valley. Well, the high today was warm, 85 degrees. This morning's low, too, above average at 63. Uh, 79 and 60 are the normal. Uh, While well, the enhanced satellite and uh, radar picture showing some pretty heavy activity over the southeast United States, it's starting to drop a little bit in our direction. But I think the high pressure ridge is going to win out and keep this mainly to our north. We'll keep an eye on it, though. There's sometimes it can send off some outflow boundaries uh, toward our area, but I think it'll be too far north. Temperatures currently pretty chilly in places like Toronto and Detroit and also Minneapolis. 30s and 40s there, but much milder and warm over South Texas into the 80s. 68 in the nation's capital. Highs tomorrow will be warming up in places like Chicago. We'll get back into the upper 50s to near 60. Uh, Dallas, a high of 81. So your boating forecast tomorrow, winds out of the south, turning to the southwest at 10 knots. Seas will be right around 2 feet with a light chop in the bays and inland waters. And as far as the water temperature goes, it's 83 or 73. Uh, at the beaches, we'll see a high near 80 degrees. And UV index will be high tomorrow at an 8. Seven-day forecast calling for warm temperatures through the weekend. Looking good, though. Just a few scattered storms around Monday and Tuesday. A little dicey, uh, slightly cooler Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. And uh, be sure to come on out for a big event on Saturday. State College of Florida evening under the stars. Looks to be pretty good, too, under the stars. Uh, we're expecting partly cloudy skies. It will be in the upper 70s to start the event at 6 p.m. And then uh, by the end, it'll be in the mid-70s. And they'll have some good fireworks. It looks to be pretty good fireworks for that down in the South Campus in Venice. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. A proposal that would make it easier for police to cite motorists that they see texting while driving, ready to be heard now by the full house. Today, the State Affairs Committee backing a measure that would shift texting while driving from a secondary offense to a primary offense. Right now, police can only cite drivers for texting behind the wheel if they're pulled over for other reasons. By making it a primary offense, police could pull over drivers solely for texting while driving. Enough is enough. The addiction of cell phone use while driving is an epidemic killer. Deadly cell phone use habits are not worth the price we are paying in lives. Last year, the bill did not advance in the Senate because of concerns over issues such as racial profiling. This year's proposal would require law enforcement officers to record the race and ethnicity of people who receive citations for texting while driving. Meanwhile, a bill is moving through that would increase the amount that someone would have to steal in order to be charged with a felony. The current felony theft threshold stands at $300 in Florida, but the bill would raise that to $1,000. 39 states have already increased the dollar amount since the year 2000. That bill states there are higher consequences for those who steal more within a 48-hour period or coordinate the crime with other people. Florida lawmakers are grappling with how to implement Amendment 4, which allows felons to have their voting rights restored. Florida voters approved that amendment in November. It granted automatic restoration of voting rights to felons who have completed all terms of their sentence, including parole or probation. It excluded people convicted of murder or felony sexual offense. Opponents of the bill feel the requirement that all financial obligations must be repaid will disqualify many low-income people from ever getting their voting rights restored. I've had plenty of constituents call me who say, first, I voted for Amendment 4. And second, I voted for it because it said after they have paid their debt to society. 
The bill is now ready for consideration by the full House, and a related bill in the Senate is scheduled for a committee hearing on Monday. Well, a Florida dog made it all the way to Colorado. The story of how that lost pup made it thousands of miles away from its home. Tonight, the border battle with President Trump set to visit. Will he follow through on his threat and shut it down? Plus, after addressing allegations of inappropriate touching, is Joe Biden now ready to make a 2020 run? World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. Between roughly 2011 and 2018, wealthy parents paid Singer about $25 million in total to guarantee their children's admission to elite schools. Actresses and others are accused of buying their kids' way into college. Can the system still be trusted? I'm Bill Logan. We'll discuss at 7. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. ABC 7, serving Bradenton and the entire Suncoast. Achieve Credit Union offers locally serviced and locally approved mortgage solutions to suit your needs. And now you can get a 15-year fixed rate as low as 4.33% APR. Lock in your rate and get moving. Achieve banking for good. If you're thinking about replacing your windows, what matters most to you? We found what matters is high performance. Our customers want energy-efficient windows built for Florida weather. Windows that can stand everything from scorching sun to hurricanes. Our customers want windows that reflect their life, their lifestyle. Windows that will last a lifetime. We listen to our customers, and as a result, we're growing. So if you're looking to replace your windows, stop here at New South Window. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. Get big savings during Jeep Freedom Days at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota. Shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Wranglers, Motor Trend SUV of the year, starting at just $28,499. Over 80 in stock. Get the most awarded SUV of all time, a new Jeep Cherokee for as little as $19,999. How about a new Jeep Renegade for just $17,999? Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in Sarasota today. Make your home improvement dreams a reality at the Sarasota Bradenton Home Show. Friday, April 5th through Sunday, April 7th at the Robarts Arena at the Sarasota Fairgrounds. Find a beautiful new kitchen or a luxurious new bathroom. Whatever your dreams, check out hundreds of fabulous home improvement companies to make it come true. Shop, compare, and save. Register for free passes to the Sarasota Bradenton Home Show at homeshowflorida.com. That's homeshowflorida.com. When we put the Kia badge on at our factory, it's more than an automaker's logo. It's a stamp certifying that when we built this one, we gave it an industry-leading 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty and a suite of advanced safety features. When we put these three letters on a car, it means we give it everything. So pay your local Kia dealer a visit and get an impressive deal on select models. But hurry, because time is running out. Whether it's the occasional chill or sweltering heat, your comfort is our top priority. We measure our success by your comfort and your referrals. So no matter what the weather, trust Tri-County Air for your heating and cooling needs. And remember... Achieve Credit Union offers locally serviced and locally approved mortgage solutions to suit your needs. And now you can get a 15-year fixed rate as low as 4.33% APR. Lock in your rate and get moving. Achieve Banking for good. Well, it was a happy and unexpected end to the tale of a Southwest Ranch's dog who was found thousands of miles from home nearly two years after her family said she was stolen as a puppy. Her four-month-old Cedar disappeared from its backyard in 2017. The dog's owner never gave up hope that he would reunite with his beloved German Shepherd. And his prayers did not go unanswered. A photo taken at Eastern Colorado Veterinary Services shows a much bigger Cedar, hardly resembling the pictures that her family took of her as a puppy. A police officer found Cedar and took her to the vet's office where the vet scanned for a microchip. It gave me a phone number and I contacted that phone number and 
the receptionist answered and told me where they were. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Florida, that's quite a ways away. And how long ago? <laughs> Well, how Cedar got there and what has happened to her over the past two years remains a mystery. The family is now working with the vet's office as well as the Humane Society and other resources to try and bring Cedar back home. Well, here's something you don't expect to see on your security cameras. A gator roaming around Lakewood Ranch. A neighbor told us an alligator was roaming between their homes while the couple next door was on vacation. So the neighbors went through footage from their eight security cameras and discovered, in fact, the gator circled the entire house. Katie told us here at ABC 7 that their neighbor called Florida Fish and Wildlife, but by the time they arrived, the alligator was already gone. Now, with so many children in that neighborhood, families may want to be extra cautious while outside. It is, of course, mating season as well, I believe, so keep that in mind um, in that area. And they're, they're, they're seeing a lot in Lakewood Ranch. Gators on the prowl, I'll tell you right there. <laughs> Didn't make it to the pool, by the no, way. No, I was thinking maybe yeah. we could get through there and cool off. But um, we have some showers around. I want you to download the ABC7 weather app. We're taking a live look at those right now. You can see you can kind of zoom in to the area where it's raining right now. And pretty heavy uh, occurring right there. Again, uh, near I-75 and also near downtown Sarasota, near uh, Bay of Vista. All that pushing off to the north. You can actually uh, move it along, too. And it kind of loops it and also has a future radar to show you uh, where the rain may be going in the future as well. That's the current radar right now. You're looking at the last hour or so, yeah. all pushing off to the northwest. Okay. No, it's free. Download it. It's nice. All right. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for joining us. World News Tonight with David Muir is coming up next. We'll see you again at 7 and 11. Have a good night. events brought in thousands of trades across all Gettle dealership locations. They've all been Gettle certified and they're all on clearance. Gettle certified pre-owned plus vehicles are fully inspected and reconditioned. Come with an industry leading warranty, three day exchange policy, vehicle history reports, and a price protection guarantee. Plus, when you buy Gettle certified, you're eligible for premier financial programs. Don't miss the Gettle certified pre-owned clearance. Gettle's got it. Gettle.com. ABC 7 News is sponsored by Cox Chevrolet. Need some family fun this summer? Come see your Marauders and enjoy our all-you-can-eat family plan. Five of our best weekend games with all the hot dogs, burgers, chicken sandwiches, fountain drinks, and bottled water at no extra charge. Starting at just $75 for all five games with all-you-can-eat and free gifts. You can even exchange tickets for any game on our schedule. Buy now at BradensonMarauders.com slash all-you-can-eat or call 941-747-3031. WWSB completes a quarterly report on the children's educational and informational programming aired on the station during the previous quarter. This children's television programming report details each program that was broadcast, which has a significant purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children ages 16 and under. This report is available in our station's online public inspection file at www.fcc.gov. I guess you could say it was love at first sight. I'd searched everywhere, but it was worth the effort. We're perfect for each other. This week at Bears Furniture, find your perfect match at 50% off and more. All the names you want most. Save 60% on this Broyhill Queen storage bed, just $5.99. Select Nijitsi sectionals are also 60% off. Bears Furniture, live beautifully. At Morgan & Morgan, we've handled all kinds of accident cases for 30 years. Car accidents, truck accidents, motorcycle accidents, boat accidents, and, little known fact, even dinosaur accidents. <laughs> Morgan & Morgan, for the people and our grandchildren. For over 100 years, Rob and Stuckey has created beautiful living spaces that are truly unique. Whatever your lifestyle, our professional designers can easily help transform your home into your dream home. Plus, now we've made it simple to design your own personalized creations with infinite possibilities. We're uniquely yours. 
we're Robin Stuckey. Visit Robin Stuckey to save half off dining tables and enjoy big savings on outdoor living. Watch ABC7 wherever you are. Just search ABC7 on your streaming device to keep up with the Sun Coast from the comfort of your couch. Download ABC7 now to watch us on TV anytime you want. ABC7, we're here for you wherever you are. In every Honda is the soul of a race car, and at the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event, you can take some of it home. With a Honda CRV, pretty cool. Or a Honda HRV. And they each come with sport mode. Speaking of something with a kick, I could really use an espresso. Huh. Guess it only works on cars. Awarded 2019 Best SUV Brand by U.S. News & World Report at the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event. Tonight, breaking news as we come on the air, the stunning and heartbreaking twist. The FBI moments ago revealing the young man who said he escaped is not the six-year-old boy missing for nearly a decade. And now that family given new hope overnight, filled with anguish again, coming before the cameras just moments ago. Also tonight, the horror in the cockpit now revealed. What really happened in the cockpit of that Boeing Max jet? It turns out initially the pilots did what they were supposed to do and still couldn't keep the jet in the air. And the remarkable words coming in from Boeing tonight. The hostage situation unfolding at this hour. We are on the scene. Two police officers shot. A gunman barricaded inside the home. The deadly road rage. The father driving his family. Authorities say followed home by another driver who then opens fire on the family, killing a 10-year-old. The American woman, the tourist, kidnapped. They're demanding a half million, and we're there tonight. New reporting this evening, investigators on Robert Mueller's team reportedly unhappy with the attorney general's summary, saying their findings involving the president were far more alarming. Prince Harry taking a stand tonight. He now wants a ban on one of the most popular video games here in the U.S. and around the world. And Made in America is back tonight. We're taking another swing, our trip to the ballpark, and one more thing we discovered, Made in America. This is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Thursday night. And we begin tonight with that heartbreaking new turn late today in the case of that missing six-year-old boy that riveted much of the nation. Timothy Pitson is the Illinois boy who was last seen when he was just six. This surveillance of him with his mother among the last images of him. Overnight, we reported a young man coming forward telling police he had just escaped. He ran across state lines, he said.